Do you believe that you can heal yourself? Too often we give our power away to something outside of ourselves and rarely, if ever, trust and tap into our innate healing power and intuition. Everyone has this capability to heal in ways we never thought possible. It's your sovereign right to claim and have true health and lasting wellness. Now, here is the host of the Dr. Dolores Show, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. Good evening, wherever you are in our beautiful universe. Welcome to another episode of the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, your host. And today we're going to be talking about love, heal, thrive, your personal growth journey. And, you know, I think for many of us, um, sometimes we just don't know where to start on our journey. It's like, we know we need to go someplace, but we're not really sure what that someplace is. And I think what is really important, what I feel is really important is just really tapping into yourself and just allowing yourself to be led to where you need to go next. It's that simple. It's not about trying to figure it out or trying to, you know, make something happen. Um, it's really about just allowing ourselves to receive the wisdom and the knowledge that is already there for us. It's just sometimes we just forget that. And I think I have a visitor today, my kitty Gracie's here, and she just loves sometimes to to be part of the show. <laughs> there she goes. And she's going to get all cozy and comf comfy here. But sometimes our animal friends are just very innately um, connected to who we are and just want to be part of our, our, you know, our show as well. So with that in mind, I just invite you just to take a step forward and just know and trust that everything is supposed to be where it's supposed to be and just allowing the little idiosyncrasies just to come into your life. So when we talk about love, you know, I kind of sat with that and pondered it a little bit because, you know, sometimes we feel that um, we don't know what love is. So I kind of Googled it a little bit and, you know, it's kind of interesting what kind of came up and I'm just going to share this. Love is like the secret ingredient that makes life's recipe extra special. It's this warm, fuzzy feeling that goes beyond words. It's caring deeply about someone or something, being there through thick and thin and finding joy in their happiness. Love can be gentle, like a soft breeze or intense, like a blazing fire. It's a connection that adds flavor to our existence, making everything a bit more meaningful. And my question to you is, what does love mean to you? So for me, love means being able to care for yourself enough that you put yourself first in everything that you do. I think too often we have a tendency to, for you know, go about doing our life and just forgetting about ourselves. And it's just like, you know, we just sometimes are so busy and wrapped up in our to-do list instead of our to-be list. I think love has a lot to do with being versus doing. It's not what you do for people or your actions. And yes, it could be. It's just a real deep, sense of groundedness and connectedness that's that allows you to be right here right now and know that you know and i'm going to say trust and know that you are okay no and safe no matter what is happening um you know loving you know so the question is is that how do we embrace that and bring that into our lives so we could tangibly feel that you know it's an essence um and sometimes incorporating love into your essence is like infusing a fabric of who you are so consider yourself like this big blanket this big tapestry 
And, you know, every experience you have is like a thread in that tapestry. And so, you know, it's everything you've experienced in your life and how you perceived it, whether you perceived it as positive or negative, good or bad or loving or not so much. It's all part of that blanket that makes uh, makes you who you are. And if you take that a step further, that your blanket is like a piece of this extraordinary quilt of collective consciousness that you're a patch of that quilt, but you're in you're intertwined in that quilt and you're contributing to collective consciousness. So it's kind of, you know, when you look at it from that perspective, it's really a lot more than what we could ever imagine. It's like, it all starts with ourselves first. And so when you are, you know, in your essence or being and you incorporate love into that, it's about being kind, understanding and compassionate both to yourself and to others. Practicing empathy and listening with an open heart and cultivating gratitude. I think right now we're in the time of the year you know, the end of the year of our seasons, the fall, you know, there's a lot that comes with that. It's about, um, we reflect a lot on, you know, gratitude because it's Thanksgiving and it's, you know, the holidays and, you know, it's like kind of coming within to yourself. And it's no surprise that the sign of Scorpio is in the fall because Scorpio is about really coming and going into the depths of who we are because Scorpios are very deep people, even though they don't show that externally, they, they go within and there's a lot of deep stuff. So of course, Scorpio is uh, in, in October, November. So we're in the midst of that right now of going a lot deeper than, than probably we normally do. So we are being supported by the universe and astrology to do that um it's important about it's important to be vulnerable and you know sharing what's going on i know um you know this also is a time of year where there's a lot of stuff that happens it's it's a time of the year where the veils are extremely thin and you'll see maybe a lot more people passing away during this time or your pets leaving the earth plane um, this is that time of the year where the veils are extremely thin, so it's very easy for people to cross over. Um, I know recently I experienced the loss of a colleague, um, which was a shock, um, and there was other circumstances around his passing, but yet when you go into the office or the workplace, it's like, the elephant that's in the room that nobody wants to address. It's like, I feel everybody's experiencing it and feeling it, but a lot of people are afraid to talk about it, which is kind of, um, you know, unnerving a little way, but it also was a trigger for me to, to, you know, as far as not being able to truly experience and grieve the process with the people who, were working with him and stuff like that. So it, it's kind of interesting, um, you know, and I know I'm going on a sidebar with this, but it's just like we uh, need to look at those things and be vulnerable enough to share what's going on for you individually. And I've done my part as far as, you know, saying that I feel like there's an, you know, I've said that to other people, I feel like there's an elephant in the room, this is here, nobody's really addressing it, but, you know, we're ignoring it, maybe it'll go away. And, you know, guess what, it doesn't go away, it actually gets bigger. And I think there's a lot more people who feel the same way that I do as well. So um, it's just interesting, it's human nature, because sometimes we just don't know how to respond to something that has been so shocking, and going through the grieving process. But anyway, love is like a mirror. The more you give, the more it reflects back to you. It's like coming back to yourself and being your true authentic self and just allowing that part of you, that essence to radiate out into, into uh, the ethers or into collective consciousness because, you know, everybody says everything starts with you first, and that's absolutely true. We're in charge of 
that part of ourselves, you know, so I invite people to take ownership of that and just embrace that love that's within you that really wants to be acknowledged and also a lot wants to permeate through you so it could permeate out of you into collective consciousness. Um, surround yourself with positively, positivity and, you know, nurture your friendships. If you have this, you know, all of a sudden you think of somebody and you haven't thought of them in a while, by all means, please pick up the phone because that's like your inner, um, inner barometer, just kind of checking in on people and just, you know, it's about connection. And I know this is the buzzword today in our society. It's about connecting and community. And this is a great way to establish community and just reaching out and say, hey, you've been on my mind. I wanted to reach out and connect with you. By all means, please do that because I think those are like messages from the universe that are telling you that, you know, maybe somebody is in need of something or they just are not feeling wonderful, but they need to talk to you and they need your your support and your energy, your essence, your love to, you know, feel better about themselves. Let's face it. We are not an island. We need others. Connection is just important. Um and mindful connections even better. Surround yourself with people from your tribe, people who are going to be supportive to you. And what I've found too throughout my life is that people are in your world world for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And you know, just cherish whatever that relationship is. I think too many times we put parameters on what a relationship should be. And maybe we're just here to be ships passing in the night temporarily and touching touching that other person's life. And whatever that is, it's all good. Um, and just know and trust that because a lot of times we are all evolving and moving forward. And when we are doing that, we're raising our frequency and energy. So as people leave our space, it creates a void for something more aligned with who we are it's like we're getting upgraded like i always say when something seems like it's not so good i invite you to look at we're getting upgraded so and know and trust that and just continue to move forward i find that when you start embracing your tribe or you know when you are showing up with the essence of your being the love that you carry within yourself you will start attracting the right people to you, the right opportunities. It's like you're energetic, energetically boosting up your frequency so it allows you to be an equal match to what's coming to you. Remember, everything that you ever wanted or desired is already there for you. It's in your energy field. It's just at different frequencies. You may be here, but the frequency of what you want is up higher. So as you work on yourself and love yourself more and more, you're going to raise your frequency to be here. And then all of a sudden you're going to see it. It's like it's it's magical. It's nothing like you're it's not like you have to do anything, create something or force it. The only thing you really have to do is just tap into yourself, your essence, your love essence, and just be who you truly are at a soul's level. So I'm, you know, we're getting ready to, to hit our first break, but you've been listening to the Dr. Dolores show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive and energy whisperer. And we are talking today about love, heal, thrive, your personal growth journey. So when we come back, we'll just share more, more about love and adding healing to that so stay tuned and see you when we come back do you trust your instincts many of us don't yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition tune in to the dr dolores show with nurse practitioner medical intuitive and energy whisperer dr dolores fazino to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness 
Listen for The Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresvizzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we've been talking about Love, Heal, Thrive, your personal growth journey. And, you know, if you're watching, I invite you to come on into the chat room and um, just share what you're thinking. Um, you know, we're in a, a season of... Uh, reflection, deep reflection, I call that. But um, we were talking about love and the essence of love before we broke uh, for our little break. And, you know, we're going to step to, you know, the healing part. Um, and, you know, I was kind of playing with this too. It's just like I was pondering. It's just like, what? let's define healing from the essence of love. So, you know, when we look at healing through the essence of love, it's like a gentle balm for the soul. It involves acknowledging wounds, uh, be they emotional or physical, with a tender understanding. Love in this context is both the healer and the healing process, a force that soothes, nurtures, brings about a sense of wholeness. It's about self-love, self-compassion, and extending the same love to others. Healing through love involves letting go of resentment, embracing forgiveness, and allowing time for wounds to transform into scars, telling stories of strength and resilience. That's a great way to look at your woundings. You know, we have, everybody's been through things in their life. Let's face it. You know, if you're here on earth getting a PhD and being a human, this is just a normal thing that is going to happen. Everybody has this. You're not, you know, it's not uniquely something that happens to you. Everybody has their um, their woundings. And it's a it's about um, these woundings sometimes are, you know, what I describe as they're the things that are going to allow your soul to evolve and grow at a very deep level. Okay. It's not, yeah, it's, there's a superficial component, but at a deeper soul level, it's allowing you to have the experience so you could gain wisdom from that. And remember, we're here of free will on earth. So there's many pathways to get to the outcome, so to say. There's not one, you know, straight shot pathway there's many possibilities that will take us to the end result of you know maybe it's healing and learning about love and healing so this is where it's really important i feel that people just really tap into their inner knowingness their wisdom and just trust the process and allow it to unfold for them and to be brave enough to step into that and take a step and move forward on that path. It's like once you start doing that, it's like everything opens up for you and it becomes more clear. You gain the clarity that you need as to what's next for you, even though 
There may be chaos and drama surrounding you. When you're able to tap into self, it doesn't matter what the external noise is. Sometimes that external noise is there because it wants to pull you out of that essence of who you are and to create fear and stress and, and drama. And this is not what it's all about anymore. This is about coming within yourself to gain that wisdom to tap into things. So part of your healing process, and I love the whole thing about um, transforming your scars and telling stories of strength and resilience, because we all are stronger than we know in our resilience and our survival is testimony to the resilience that we truly have within ourselves. And it's time to embrace that resilience and give yourself the acknowledgement that you have lived through this. You have done amazing things with this. You have transformed your life and to own it. It's not about having an experience and then putting it on the back burner or putting it on the shelf and ignoring it. It's about embracing it and when you're ready celebrating it because of the wisdom that you've gained from this it's you know and sometimes if it brings up the guilt and the shame or whatever I invite you to take a step deeper into that as to why there's the shame and the guilt because that's where the that's where the richness is going to come in to deeper healing around that issue when we are able to um, really embrace our healing, it's about an act of self-love for us, really. Okay, this is about loving yourself enough to do something with that so you're able to um, move forward with your life. You know, so does healing and love start with self first? Absolutely. The journey of healing and love often begins within. It's like tending the garden of your own heart. When you cultivate self-love, it becomes the fertile soil from which other forms of love can bloom. Just feel that. It's adding fertilizer to your garden. Healing starts from acknowledging and embracing your own vulnerabilities and understanding your worth and treating yourself with kindness. Too often, I think we have a tendency to beat ourselves up. Guilty, it still happens. And I'm in my 60s. And when it does happen, I have to be self-aware enough to realize that. So self-awareness is huge. It's realizing when you're kind of going down the automatic rabbit hole of things that we have done throughout our lives that are just reactive. It's about being self-aware enough to uh, be able to pivot or flip the switch, so I, I say, um, on that. So, you know, if you're going down the rabbit hole and, and really feeling bad about something and beating yourself that you should have been better, and I invite you to just stop, take like a 90-minute pause, not 90 minute, 90 second. God, 90 minute, you guys would be like, what is she talking about? No, 90 second pause. Just enough to get you anchored back in your body. Just take a deep breath and just anchor yourself. So when you pull yourself back and observe versus being part of reacting, you gain a lot more wisdom and clarity. So you're able to mindfully and be self-aware in creating something different. So I invite you to, to play with that, you know, because it's not that challenging or difficult. 90 seconds, that's all you need to do. So, you know, self-love and starting with yourself, it's so important to fill your cup up first. And then from that overflow, you give to others because then you will always be full and you won't feel depleted. You're giving from a full cup and then the overflow. Um, Self-care and self-love is not about being self-centered. It's about nurturing self so you're better able to 
be there for other people. Okay. You know, I know there's that analogy of, you know, when the plane goes down, they say, put your oxygen mask on first and then help others. Same principle. If you aren't able to, you know, take care of yourself first, you're going to be worthless to taking care of other people going down on the flight because you'll probably pass out before you get to put your mask on if you help everybody else first. So just remember that analogy too, because it's a real good one. So when you're able to heal and be a witness to what is happening in your life, witness meaning watching and observing versus reacting, it's more about responding. When you're in respond mode and you're working through your healing process and stuff, just I believe you gain riches and you're able to have insights about how things have happened. Remember, things are not a linear progression. It's a matrix. And things are con interconnected in ways you have no idea. And let me, let me elaborate a little bit. You may have three different things happening, okay? On the surface, they don't even look like they're related because they're different things. They're actually different themes and variations of something really deeper that is one. So when you have three separate things going on and you're, you know, I invite you to be, you know, curious and ponder is like, why is this happening? This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. And just go within yourself and just ask your higher self, what is this all about? And sometimes you will see how things are kind of matrixed down to a core issue. It's like you're getting three different variations of the same theme. And when you look at it from that perspective and see how these things are interrelated in ways you never thought, it gives you um, an expanded awareness and knowledge that you're possibly able to see things from a different perspective. So I invite you to, when things happen in your life, just reflect and observe instead of react. Our normal tendency is just to want to react and fix it and make it go away and, you know, blah, 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 and be on with the next thing. Let me tell you, that's a temporary fix because that will just happen again in another way or form and maybe a little more intense. So pay attention to those things, you know, because it's like the universe is giving you opportunities to heal and to, and to uh, you know, move deeper within yourself and gain the richness and the essence of love, because it's really all love. When in doubt, just feel and think the word love. Without trying to control it, manipulate it, it's just the essence. Just feel the vibration, the frequency of the word love. Sometimes that's all you need to do to raise your frequency. It's really that simple. Everything is energy, and sometimes we get so caught up into thinking that, you know, it's got to be really difficult, especially when it comes to healing. Healing is our birthright. There's just so much drama around it that, you know, and maybe it's destruct, uh, destructive and distractive drama that prevents us from healing. So I just invite you to be brave and just take a step and go within and allow yourself to heal at a very deep level and to possibly experience healing in ways you never thought possible. So we're getting ready to go on our second break already. I can't believe it. And you've been listening to the Dr. Dolores show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive and energy whisperer. And we're going to talk more about love, heal and thrive when we come back. And we're going to just add the thriving part when we come back. So stay tuned and we'll see you after the break. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. 
Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. And you're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we've been talking about um, love, heal, thrive, your personal growth journey. And, you know, before break, we're talking about um, healing. Healing is just so, so of the essence right now. And it's a lot of deep self-growth, personal self-growth work, but definitely worth the effort when you step into that. Um, And, you know, it's usually a lot simpler than we want to make it out to be. So, you know, working on yourself is takes a lot of courage, takes a lot of bravery, and the rewards are endless and deep and lasting. So I encourage people, if they're just starting their healing journey or their personal growth journey, to embrace it, and it will it's going to change your life in so many wonderful ways you have no idea. And, you know, this is the perfect segue into talking about thriving because when you're able to love yourself and to love yourself enough to heal what is really um, weighing heavy on your heart, this is where you really begin to clear up the energetic space within your field that's going to allow you to thrive because remember this it's just like sometimes when we are in our lives our experiences happen you know sometimes we call it like baggage we put all those things when we don't deal with it or we'll deal with it later in that knapsack and then all of a sudden something may happen and that knapsack is overfilled in fact it's ripping at the seams because there's so much stuff in there that we packed away that we haven't dealt with and you know from the visual of that when we start unpacking that backpack that backpack it's like our load gets lighter and lighter energetically that happens as well it's like our frequency starts to raise as we raise our frequency sometimes that other residual baggage just has a tendency to fall away with with effort without effort and with ease it's because that's what it's really all about it's about us allowing ourselves to allow it to to move without getting stuck and being resistant. Okay. So that's the key there. A lot of times our resistance is so deep seated because of everything that we've experienced. It's a coping mechanism to make sure that we are safe and secure. 
when you start trusting yourself and you know what you know, you are safe and secure. It's a little bit on the scary side when you first are learning how to trust yourself, but it's it's essential because once you trust yourself, that's where you get to the point where you know what you know without having to explain it. It's just so innate with who you are. You just know what you know, and you can't really explain it. <laughs> um, I laugh because, you know, when I was younger um, person and I was working in the intensive care unit at a hospital back East, it's like I would know things about patients before they would actually happen. And I just remember physicians used to come to me and say, how did you know that? I said, I don't know. I just know. You just can't explain it. You just have these hits about things that are so spot on that you don't even question that because you know it's that 100% inner knowingness that this is the right thing to do. And I know we've all had those experiences, probably some of us in fleeting moments, you know, just to give you a taste that this is possible. I invite you to go and take a step into that more because this is where you're going to gain your ability to thrive in your life. So let's talk about thriving. Thriving is like the like dancing with life rather than merely moving through it. I love that because it's like you are on a pathway and you're just moving with it. It's not about, it's not just surviving, but flourishing, embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. Like I was saying, my new thing, whenever there seems to be an obstacle or uh, a setback, I say, I'm getting upgraded because I am. I'm learning how to get out of my own way um, to allow what is possible because I don't know what's possible. You know, I, I, I'm by me setting a, you know, being stuck and resistant, I'm putting a stop to the flow of the possibility. So that's something to remember. Imagine a vibrant garden where each flower blooms in its own time, contributing to the beauty of the whole. Thriving involves a sense of fulfillment, purpose, and a deep connection with oneself and the world. It's about living authentically, pursuing passions, finding joy in the journey. Finding joy in the journey, <laughs> sometimes that's a that's a tough one because you're wondering like, what the hell's going on? It's like, I didn't sign up for this. I remember having conversations with my higher self, um, you know, probably about 10 years ago. I was going through a rough patch and, you know, you ever wonder, um, did you ever wonder that, you know, you ask for things to your, to, you know, you pray for things and stuff like that. You, you ever wonder if anybody's ever listening to you? This is a real funny story because I was really at my wits end probably about 12 years ago. And I was in my kitchen and I said to the universe, I'm shaking my hand. It's like, you know, sometimes I wonder if you ever hear me. And so out of the corner of my eye, I saw something drop from the window and I'm like, Oh, what the heck's that? So I step outside and there's no trees above me. It's just sky. There was not a feather. It was a whole Raven's wing that just fell and plopped to the ground. And I live in suburbia. So this is crazy. So I'm sitting there and I got a little stick and I'm poking at it and I'm like, okay, I guess they heard me and I'm walking in and I'm sheepishly, you know, I, I'm like really kind of humbled and I hear in my mind all this laughter and I said, I get it. You're here. I, I, I know you're, you're listening and I know you hear me now. Thank you for that sign. So I received a sign and Sarah's asking here, when you say upgrade, do you mean raising your vibration? That's a good, that's a good analogy. I feel that maybe that is what's happening, but I just decide to realize that, you know, maybe what I have already experienced has come to the end and my resistance and not wanting to let go of it keeps me stuck from getting the next step that's going to probably be more aligned with who I am. 
You know, sometimes when we raise our vibration, we want to still play small and keep ourselves stuck. So when you say I'm getting upgraded, it's a reminder to you to, okay, to take a deep breath and just allow and take your next step into the next higher vibration. So I think it's about maybe our vibration is higher, but we're not acknowledging that and we want to stay stuck and play small. So Sarah, great question. So, you know, I invite people to, you know, raise your vibration. Well, allow your vibration, if it's already raised, to embrace the next steps on your journey. Because maybe the next steps are more aligned with what you are. Another story is that, you know, sometimes our vehicles, our cars, are very much energetically they reflect who we are. Okay. That's probably a great word to, to talk about this. When sometimes we've done all this work and our vibrations higher, maybe our old car is no longer an energetic match. Sometimes it's like when you get a new vehicle, you know what that feeling is like. It's like, Oh, this feels more like me and stuff like that. Same principle. It's like you're energetically, at a different point, but the old things that you have are no longer a match for that new vibration. Okay. So that's when sometimes you have start having car problems and maybe it's because the car is trying to recalibrate itself to match the higher frequency and vibration, but it's no longer working, but yet it might be time to buy a new vehicle. So the next vehicle you have matches your energy. So it's, it's like, and you, a lot of times you feel great in that new vehicle. Am I, am I right in saying that? That's what I, that's happened to me several times. It's like, you're getting upgraded. You're getting upgraded. Sometimes the vibration happens first and then the upgrade matches the new vibration. So that was a real good thing. So that's an example about thriving. It's like paying attention to those things. And this can also happen, too, with relationships. Many times in our lives, it's just like people, like I said, are in a, uh, we meet people for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And sometimes it's like people feel like, oh, my God, you know, I've said a couple of friends and clients of mine have said, you know, I feel like I'm purging my friends. I said, well, it's OK. You know, you have to remember if the lessons have already been learned and you touch each other's lives for a brief moment, it, that's maybe all that was meant to be. And just to embrace that, cherish the connection that you had and also gain the wisdom from that connection as you move on and you continue to weave the, the uh, tapestry of your life. So you're able to energetically be open to what's next. So let's talk just a couple more things about thriving. It's not a destination, but a continuous dynamic state of being. And, you know, just something to think about for yourself is like, how do you thrive in your life? You know, and, you know, I had another question, too, was like thriving, the culmination of love and healing. And that's probably true. Thriving often emerges as a beautiful tapestry woven from the threads of love and healing. That's, you know, you could really feel that. When you've experienced love, both for yourself and others, and allowed healing to take place, you create a fertile ground for growth and flourishing. Love becomes a catalyst for healing, and healing in turn paves the way for thriving. It's a cyclical and interconnected process, each element reinforcing and enhancing the others. It's like thriving is like blossoming of a well-nurtured garden where the seeds of love and healing have been sown. So that's something for you to to feel and contemplate. And, you know, we're going to go on to our last break. I can't believe this, this episode has gone by so quickly, but when we come back, we're going to put it all together and give you some things that you could probably work on to assist you in this whole process. So you're listening to the Dr. Dolores show on Inspired Choices Network. And I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, your host. And when we come back from break, we'll just wrap this all up and put it all together in a nice box and bow for you. So you could just unwrap that gift and enjoy 
the little essences within. See you when we come back. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You've been listening to the Dr. Dolores Show on Inspired Choices Network. I'm Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And you are listening to our episode today on Love, Heal, and Thrive, Your Personal Growth Journey. And we talked about the importance of love and self-love and the importance of healing and why it's so essential and and, you know, right now we're going to talk more about what you can do to put this all together so this could help you on your journey. To cultivate self-love, I remind people to embrace their worth, practice self-compassion, and prioritize your well-being. That's just the essentials of self-care. I call it deep dive self-care because... Yes, a manicure, a pedicure, and a massage are great. That's self-care. That's nurturing your your love, your love, you know, for yourself. It's superficial. I call it self-care 101, but I'm talking about a deeper dive into uh, a deeper essence of self-care. Always embrace your growth. Like I said, we're here on Earth, the University of Earth, getting our PhD in being human. You're always growing and evolving as time progresses. Everything that you experience are lessons and you're gaining wisdom from that. Learn, um, you know, just I invite you to explore, learn more about yourself and lean into the areas where you're drawn to. It's like your, your higher self is telling you what's next for you. Nurture your connections, reach out to people, you know, establish your own community. Community is big. We, like I said, it's not about being the Lone Ranger anymore. It's about coming together in support. And I know a lot of people are empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people that listen to my show, but it's just like, it's about aligning yourself with people that are going to support you that are, um, aligned with who you are. It's not about just going out to anybody and, and, you know, befriending them. It's just be wise and mindful of who you associate with and develop your tribe. As you raise your vibration, you're going to create connections with people who are more aligned with who you are. It's that magical. Set intentions. We are in such a magical time right now that before you even think about something, you create it. That's how amazingly, um, magical we are so with that be aware of what you you say even if it's in jest your you know your words that you speak are like intentions so really be aware of what you are saying both out loud and to yourself okay practice mindfulness and being self-aware um staying present in the moment and appreciating the beauty and simple things so mindfulness can bring a sense of calm and clarity This is where you're able to ground within yourself and be in the present moment. And for people who have a um, challenge with that, I invite you to go to my website, drdoloresfazzino.com and download a free uh, video guided meditation on being in the present moment. It'll help with the monkey mind and it'll keep you present right here, right now. And I think once you listen to that, you will agree. Celebrate your achievements. So so often we beat ourselves up 
with the things that we're not good at and stuff like that, I invite you to flip the switch and celebrate everything. Celebrate the fact that you were able to get up this morning and make your bed. Celebrate the fact that you were able to go into the shower and move. You know, some people aren't able to do that. Just appreciate and be grateful for the things that you can do. When you do gratitude and appreciation on the things that um, you are grateful and appreciative on a regular basis, it shifts your focus and you will see things in a more positive light. Prioritize your self-care. Once again, prioritize your self-care. Put yourself first on your list of to-do things not last or not on the list at all. You are a priority and it's time for you to put yourself first. With all of that, it's like your creativity, once you're in your body and you're in the present moment, surprisingly, you're going to be able to tap into your creativity and have more time um, and probably create, you know, manifest some pretty amazing things. And then do your best to seek balance. Strive for a balance between work, play, and rest. Listen to your body and your mind's need. Remember, thriving is a journey unique to you. What aspects resonate with your vision of thriving are unique to you as well. So just give yourself the gift. We're in the holiday season of love, heal, and thrive. So next week on the Dr. Dolores show, we're going to be talking about solving hidden grief, the path to healing. How often in our lives do things happen, yet we've stuffed them away over a time and a place, and maybe it's from our childhood as well. And something happens in this present moment that triggers something, and it's like a gold mine of getting deeper into what you know, maybe has been driving the show for you for decades. In our next episode, we are going to embark on a profound journey of emotional transformation and healing. We understand that hidden grief and the pursuit of healing are universal human experiences that often, often go hand in hand. And it's time to explore the depths of your emotions, find solace and discover the transformative power of embracing your hidden grief as a path of healing. I feel that this is a real important thing because so many of us right now are moving through. It's almost like we're going through massive, deep, transformative processes and what's happening is like the external is triggering these to happen. And it's almost like the gift of the universe and the gift the universe is giving us if we embrace it as that opportunity. There is, you know, some wisdom in that. And I just feel that this is a real great, uh, this is going to be a very good episode for people who are being triggered by things. And if you allow yourself to just experience what that trigger is and go really deep, you're going to be um, probably pleasantly surprised at what can come out of that and the healing and transformative nature of what's possible. So once again, you're listening to the Dr. Dolores show. I'm Dr. Dolores Pizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive an energy whisper, and we're on the Inspired Choices Network. And I just want you to remember that, you know, our experience here on Earth is a journey. And even though sometimes you don't feel like you're supported, you are. You are never alone. You are loved and appreciated more than you could ever imagine. And I just invite you to embrace that love essence that's deep within you. And so we'll talk to you next week. And in the meantime, just have an amazing week and we will check in with you later. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Dolores show. Dr. Dolores returns Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. 
2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and create your best life. You are worth it.